Tacos Al Pastor. There's tons of videos on YouTube, and really, I have nothing to add. So, how do I stand out? With pork belly, of course. Okay, now before we get to the pork, let's take care of the topping. Pineapple salsa. It's gonna include the pineapple. So, here's how you chop one up. Cut off the stem. And the bottom. These you can just throw away. And without cutting too much into the pineapple meat, trim off the skin. No, 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 no. Now, as we should know, the pineapple core, while edible, is really tough, and I do not want that in our salsa, so just cut as close as you can to the core. Unless you're a sadist, you can throw this away. <laughs> All you really need is about a cup's worth of pineapple. We don't need that much. <laughs> and for the rest of the pineapple, eh, store it in here and just have it as a snack later. Hey, SpongeBob, your house is gone. Okay, we have in this bowl our two cups of diced pineapple. To that, add one cup of diced red onion. Two ounces of cilantro, diced nice and fine. Two jalapenos, diced. One tablespoon of lemon juice. And a teaspoon of salt. Grab a big ass spoon and mix everything together. Cover this in saran wrap. And stick it in the fridge. All right, now we can work on the marinade. Grab three dehydrated guajillo peppers. Snip off the top. De-seed them onto a plate. All right, then transfer them into a metal bowl. Okay, once the chilies are de-stemmed and de-seeded, Dump them in boiling hot water. Make sure the chilies are nice and submerged. All right, while our chilies reconstitute, let's get to work on the rest of the marinade. In a food processor, add one cup of pineapple juice, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, Three ounces of achiote paste. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. And one and a half teaspoons of cumin. Add one and a half teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Add in our now reconstituted guajillo peppers. Blend until smooth. All right, now blend until smooth. Nice, bright, colorful, and red. And it's nice and smooth. And a little bit more salt, a touch more vinegar, and a little bit more cumin. Now let's talk meat. Of course, al pastor is made with pork, specifically pork shoulder. But as you can see right here, this is not pork shoulder, but pork belly. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, to hopefully stand out in YouTube search algorithm, and number two, you don't need some complicated shawarma type spit thing in order to make it. You can just toss it on the grill, top it up, and eat it. Now here's the thing about pork belly is that it's a really tough piece of meat. But if you look closely, you'll see that it is pre-tenderized. I went to a Korean grocery store. You can pick them up there. And if you can't find pre-tenderized pork belly, 
Well, just grab one of those knife tenderizer things, I'll leave a link in the description, and just go Julius Caesar on some regular pork belly. And we grab two to three pounds of pre-tenderized pork belly. Anyway, take our pork, put it in a bowl. All right, and pour our marinade over it. Until, and toss everything together. Anyway, cover it in saran wrap and store it in the fridge. And let it marinate overnight. And yes, the same goes with the salsa too. Trust me, all the flavors are gonna to meld together. It's gonna to be three times more tastier. Now, excuse me, I got an island to tend to. All right, and after a night of partying with KK Cider, come on, the dude's a rock star. He knows how to party. It's time to cook our meat. The best way to cook this is on a grill. I guess you can use a grill pan if you don't have access to one, but it's gonna create a lot of smoke and really, this just gets you better results. As you see, I have a cast iron griddle here. That's for the tortillas. Put our pork belly slices onto the hot grates. And yes, I know my camera's in the way. I gotta film this damn thing somehow. And let this cook for about five or so minutes. Okay, so I put on a new batch of pork. Uh, I know I should have filmed me flipping it over. I didn't want it to burn, sorry. And it's time to heat up the tortillas. All right, this is pretty simple. Just grab a corn tortilla and place it on the griddle. Don't cook them too long, just enough to heat them up. Okay, once they got a little bit of brown on both sides, just take them off the griddle and put them in a towel, that way they don't lose warmth. Rinse and repeat. Okay, and after a while, here's what it should have looked like. Nice and cooked with a little bit of char. Ah oh man, so much smoke. What am I gonna say to the buyer when I eventually sell this thing on eBay? After a while, take them off the heat and onto a plate, which I have off camera. Onda, let it cool down for a bit. And turn this off. Okay, after the pork cools down, chop it up into bite-sized pieces. Top it off with our pineapple salsa. And bada bing, bada boom, our pork belly al pastor tacos are ready. And you better, before I eat this, let me take off the lav mic. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Oh, um, not sponsored by the way. Probably should have said that at the beginning of the video.